Okay, hey Reborn family, this is Sharon T. Coming at you again. Um, can you believe it? Another video. But, mm, hold on, I gotta get a sip of my drink. Mm. Okay, this video, I'm just gonna show you how I prepare the hair for rooting in the in the uh, plastic well the baggie I have the baggie right here you can use um, saran wrap but I don't want to waste my saran wrap on stuff like that I use that for cooking okay so here is I've already cut some of the um, the 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 hair and I comb it out like this I'm trying to make sure y'all can see this okay and then I um, take the hair and I'm going to cut it off the weft okay be careful that you don't cut none of the string or the fiber of this because you don't want to root that okay Come on now, cut. All right. Okay, after I've done that, see, you have this left, right? Okay. So, after that, I take the hair and I wrap it around my finger, fingers like this, okay, real tight. Okay, I'm going to get my trash can. Already it's starting to shed because you've got loose, you've got shorter hair in there. So what I'm going to do is take it and I'm going to comb it. Let me just do it this way because I'm getting too much hair. But I'm going to comb it. And see how much hair I got out of there? Because this is just short hair and you're not going to root that. You If you, you know, you want the hair long now, what you can do with this, sometimes, well, the majority of the time, I save stuff like this, and I'll uh, kind of bundle it up, because um, you can use this for eyelashes and um, eyebrows, so I'm going to scrap this because I don't need any more, so you keep combing it and combing it, just like this, until... And then you go down a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, rather. And because this, believe me, there's some more short hairs in here. And you're going to comb it. See? I can't use that because the, the hair that I'm going to be rooting is going to be long hair. So I'm going to scrap that as well. See, here goes some more. All right, then I'm going to go down a little bit further, pretty much to the end, and wrap it around my finger. And then this should be the last time I have to comb it. Again, see, this is shorter. I don't need that. Then I go to the other end, and I wrap it around, and then I comb it. So there's no more hair that, that, you know, shorter hairs. Okay? So I'm done with that. Ugh. Whew. Went up my nose. Put that there. Okay. So I you wouldn't believe the... I normally cut it over the trash can. And I won't have to clean this mess up off of my little... I call it my little rooting station. <laughs> my little table. This was my mother's. She used to eat on this all the time. And may she rest in peace for now. And I'm going to throw that away. All right. Now, I'm going to take the hair. And I'm going to lay, I'm put the baggie and I'm going to, um, Try to even it out. I'm going to cut it at the end anyway. But um, I like to try to 
have it as even as possible. Okay. And then I'm going to lay it on the baggie. Can y'all see that? And then I'm just going to fold it over. And I'm just going to keep folding and folding and folding. You know, kind of like roll it or folding, if you want to call it that. My nails always get in the way, but I um, just have to deal with it. And just keep going all the way to the end. Um, if you get it like a little bubble, just puncture it. You know, just stick it. Okay. And keep going. And just keep rolling it until you get to the end of the baggie. Okay. And I'm almost at the end. Okay. Until it looks like this. You see that? Okay, then I'm going to take some tape. You don't need that much. Just go around it. Don't um, make sure, I mean, put it on there kind of tight, but not too tight to where you can't. Um, you want to put it around there tight enough so the hair won't fall out, but you don't want it too loose either. So I'm going to put one at the end here, down here at the bottom. Again, you don't want it too tight. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to put one closer to the top, but to the but not too, you know, I'll show you here. I am horrible at explaining things. And then I'm going to put some right there. I've got three piece I've got three little bands of tape. That's all you need. Can you see that? All right. So this is this is going to be the end that you root, okay? So what I do, I always pull up a little bit and then I take the end and I trim it. Just like that. And then you're ready to root. So you can push up. See how I'm pushing up? Oops. And you see that? And then you can pull it down. And then you're ready to root. It, it makes it easier for you to get one to two strands. And you don't lose any hair so i generally try to have um more than one of these done because uh, to me this makes you root faster and before you know it you'll be ready for another one of these so i generally try to have more than one so i can just because you kind of get a rhythm going and you just want to keep going and that's about it i cannot think of the lady who um, posted this. This has been quite a while ago, and so she's, I haven't heard anything else from her. Um, it's been a long time, and I just want to thank her, because you don't, you, you, you lose, you don't lose hair. Um, opposed to holding the hair in your fingers, you lose so much hair, but this way you don't lose hair at all. So she shared it, so I just thought I would share it with you. And try it. Let me know what you think of it. See how you, you like it. And let me, um, I had mentioned something about um, where I said that I prefer um, rooting with human hair. I do. I really do. But I did say that uh, mohair um, feels like cotton to me. Not all uh, mohair because I do have some yearling um, mohair and it is the bomb. I just prefer this. It's that red, whatever that, it's called red something. That is some terrible hair. And I have um, 
my one of my um, kids, I did root with um, the mohair, it, that ruby red. That is some horrible hair. And I am going to take that hair out eventually and reroute his hair because it just feels like cotton. Not all uh, mohair, just that particular brand. So I wanted to rephrase that because there is some excellent um, mohair out there. But I prefer to use human hair it just feels more um it just feels more like hair to me and um it's thicker kind of but and you can kind of see it you don't always have to use a, a magnifying lamp and to me i just root faster and i don't know rooting comes um more natural to me than painting so um y'all keep those videos coming because i said i didn't know what i was doing i kind of know what i'm doing but I kind of don't know what I'm doing. So y'all keep those um, videos coming. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with you and um, show you how I do it to each his own. Um, this is, I like doing this, do, rooting with this. And um, you just don't lose a lot of hair. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to get back to rooting. So um, remember to build up. Let's not tear down. Um, share. Comment. Be nice and I'll be nice to you. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that like button. And I guess I'm going to talk to you later. And remember your Sharon T loves each and every one of y'all. Lots of love, hugs, and kisses. Mm -hmm. Bye.